The Toledo Institute for Development and Environment is a conservation NGO that fosters community participation in conservation from ridge to reef in southern Belize. Manatee poaching along the coast of southern Belize and overfishing prompted members of coastal communities to establish an NGO to protect marine resources. Fishers who traditionally fish in the area wanted to ensure that future generations benefit from fishing. Between 1998 to 2000, communities came together to advocate for the Port Honduras Marine Reserve and co-management with the Fisheries Department was granted within two years. A ranger station was built on Avalon Key in the Marine Reserve to aid with enforcement of fishing regulations and to provide information to fishers and visitors. The Port Honduras Marine Reserve is 160 square miles and it has over 130 mangrove keys that are home to a wide variety of species. Five rivers empty fresh water into the reserve. The fringing reefs of the Snake Keys in the conservation zone are home to hundreds of reef fish and invertebrates and over 50 species of corals. Seagrass beds within the reserve are important habitats, nursery grounds and feeding areas. Monitoring of ecosystems and key species is an integral component of the management of the reserve and TIDE engages community researchers in this aspect. There are several developments that impact the Port Honduras Marine Reserve including shrimp farming and aquaculture, overfishing of lobster, conch and finfish, particularly by fishers of neighboring countries. Along with the management of the Port Honduras Marine Reserve, TIDE co-manages the Paines Creek National Park with the Forest Department. This park is adjacent to the Port Honduras Marine Reserve. This is an aerial view of the Paines Creek National Park that is mainly pine savanna but includes broadleaf forests and estuaries. This estuary within the Paines Creek National Park is popular for sports fishing and TIDE conducts water quality monitoring within the park and adjacent rivers. The Arakari bird is a popular bird in the park. There are several threats to the Paines Creek National Park including logging and hunting. Wildfires, mostly set intentionally by hunters of game species, are common. The Paines Creek National Park is home for the endangered yellow-headed parrots and we take pride in protecting their nesting sites. In 2001, Tide was a recipient of funds from a Debt for Nature swap agreement and we purchased land in key areas within the Maya Mountain Marine Corridor for conservation purposes. Today, Tide manages over 20,000 acres of private protected lands for the people of Belize. This is our visitor center on the private protected lands and it is used to disseminate information about the private lands we manage and inform of the importance of conservation. Biodiversity in the private lands is rich and includes jaguars and other endangered species. The blue morpho butterfly is commonly seen in several areas along with hundreds of bird species including the great curassow. Monitoring is a critical component of managing both the Plains Creek National Park and Tide Private Protected Lands and park rangers and local communities assist terrestrial manager with this activity. A trail and botanical garden was created on the private lands to allow visitors to explore the area and learn about the biodiversity. Visitors are welcomed to the Tide Private Protected Lands. 
TIED uses a number of innovative education and outreach activities to get communities involved in conservation, and the Freshwater Cup is an award-winning program that promotes environmental awareness through a regular football competition. Children are excited to participate in this program as they play in a football competition and also implement a conservation project in their community. A newly initiated Community Stewards Program has provided capacity building and education to 15 resource users to enhance their stewardship. Training for stewards included marine and terrestrial ecosystems, GPS use, fire management, communication skills, terrestrial and marine laws, and computer skills. Another interesting outreach activity is the Tide Fish Fest which is a weekend event with a fishing tournament, cultural entertainment, and all the activities that promote conservation. The Tide Weekend also includes a youth conservation competition that raises awareness of global environmental issues and provides scholarships for high school students. Tide hosts a number of traveling exhibits and brings children from local communities to experience them. In this exhibit, children learn about coral reefs from the Traveling Caribbean Reef exhibit. We also offer an introduction to birding for children and adults, and it's fun to see children demonstrating an appreciation for birds. This is a training session by the Thai terrestrial biologist teaching youths to identify birds. We work with schools and community stewards in planting hundreds of trees in deforest areas and host summer camps in stakeholder communities to get children interested and informed about the importance of conservation in Belize. Tide, leading conservation through community participation.